Ms. Leo Lisa here. Thank you for joining the video. And if you have not yet seen this car accident scam, we got to look at this and we got to talk about it. Let me go ahead and uh, show you this in case you haven't seen this yet, because there are some things going on in this video we need to talk about. Dash cam video is going viral after capturing what appears to be attempted insurance fraud. The video shows a car cutting off a driver, braking abruptly, and then accelerating backwards into this car. And ABC's transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, has the details. Oh my God! This terrifying moment caught on camera. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, what is he doing? Babe, what happened? Suspected insurance fraudsters intentionally backing into Ashpia Natasha's car on a busy New York City highway. This guy just reversed into me. What the hell is going on? My first instinct was that I got caught in a road rage. It was very chaotic. Watch as the silver Honda Accord cuts off Ashpia, causing her to slam on the brakes. But when she doesn't hit them, the driver putting the car into reverse and punching the gas, crashing into her. I just proceeded to treat it like an accident. You know, I asked them if they were okay. We were able to exchange information. The guy in the video, he told me that the female was the driver and she doesn't speak any English. But then take a look at this. The backseat passengers trying to put a covering on the back window as the driver climbs over into the front passenger seat before getting out of the car, pretending to be injured. They pull out their phones to record the damage. Oh I'm shaking. My God. They were rushing to leave. They were like, well, we have to go. We have to go pick up our baby. Um, and so basically when I turned around to go check on the car, they just like got in their car and left. After watching the footage, they believe they were being scammed. Taking the videos to the police, they pretty definitively say that they've seen similar scams like this. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, fraudulent automobile accidents occur more frequently in urban areas where there is a greater volume of vehicles and criminals prey upon women driving alone. Just incredible. And if you think you've been a victim of insurance fraud, make sure you report it. Many states have insurance fraud hotlines that you could call. And this scam could involve more than just the people in the other car. It could include doctors and lawyers who participate in the scheme. So just like Ashpia did, if something looks strange, trust your gut. And I say that all the time. A couple of things here to talk about. First, any company that makes dash cams, their stock, if they are a public company, is now going to go through the roof. Everybody's going to be thinking, there are a few reasons I may want to have a dash cam to protect myself. And this is one of them. This is absolutely unbelievable. I know this happens all the time, but to see the video and to understand that those people in that car were willing to put not just themselves at risk when it comes to getting physically hurt, but the people behind them too. But of course, if they don't value their own lives, then it's very unlikely they are going to value anybody else's life either. The other thing that crosses my mind when I watch something like this is you never know who you're hitting. You could very well hit someone and have it turn into a road rage incident. Remember, she said that she thought that was what was going on. This person pulled over in front of them. Maybe they got mad. That's why they stopped. That's why they backed up. But then you see all of this other stuff going on in the back seat looking like they're pulling something up to hide what's going on inside the car. At that point, she knows, okay, wait, yeah, this feels a little different from just road rage because with a road rage incident, someone is going to jump out of the car, they're going to be steaming mad, and they're going to walk over with, I guess, some, some facial expressions and saying certain things to you, not doing some maneuvering behind some sort of black screen there trying to hide what they're doing. I think she was definitely on the right track. I think everybody's on the right track. I think the news media is on the right track, probably the insurance bureau and the police too, when they say that this was likely a scam, especially given the fact that they didn't stick around. But even so, how do you protect yourself from something like this? And what do you do if it happens to you? Number one, I think she did the right thing. Treat it like an accident go ahead, report it, collect and exchange information. 
if it sounds fishy and looks fishy, then also report it to the police so that you have a record of it. In this case, they also have the dash cam footage. And even though it was blurred out the license plate, they have that information too. So it's very likely that the police may be following up on all of this and may go after this as attempted insurance fraud. Eh, we'll see though. We can imagine that the police have a lot of things that they're doing. So we don't necessarily know where this is going to fall. But in any case, the real serious part of this is this could have been escalated so much higher had the person who got hit been someone who then got really upset and wanted to take it out on the people who hit him or her. So it was actually, you know, the sort of the best thing that happened happened because everybody was able to walk away and no one was injured. Now the money side of things, the vehicle damage, all of that, that's going to get reported to the insurance company. Hopefully she won't see her um, premiums go up, but this could have been so much worse than it was. I think those people were really taking their lives into their own hands, not just in terms of hitting the car, but you never know who you're trying to run the scam on and how they may react. Be careful out there. Like I say all the time, keep your eyes and ears open. Be prepared because you never know what may happen. And now all of us can run out and get a dash cam, put it in our car and maybe feel a little bit more uh, at ease when something like this happens, because now we've got evidence to prove what went on. Another thing to think about before I wrap this up is what likely would have happened had they not had the dash cam? I've seen other videos where it looked like one of the passengers turned around and noticed that maybe there was something in the car, possibly a video recorder, like a dash cam, and that he may have gone back over and said something to one of the other people in the car. That was something that I saw in one of the other videos and they talked about that. That may be why they hightailed it out of there and said, wait a second, uh, the scam is not going to work on these people. They've got a dash cam in there and yeah, we just need to leave. That may have been why they left so fast. But I'm telling you, this is an incident that nobody's probably prepared for when they're out driving to work, going to the grocery store, taking the kids to the doctor. You're just doing your thing. But now, now, you have to be mindful of people who may be engaging in these kinds of activities, taking their car, backing it up to hit you in order to get money. This is to get money. This is really what this is all about. So again, um, let me know in the comments if you have a dash cam. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about now buying one because you don't. All right, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.